And joining us tonight is author and wordsmith Kel Richards and Nova Radio's Michelle Stevenson. Gang, it's a very busy evening and we have some breaking news to report on the front page tonight. Operation Biden powers up as President prepares for a historic address to Australia's Parliament. Joe Biden has accepted an invitation to address Federal Parliament next week as the US President, Indian Prime Minister Narendra Modi and Japanese Prime Minister Fumo Kishida prepare to converge on Australia for the 2023 Quad Leaders Summit in Sydney. This is the first visit by a United States President to Australia since 2014 when Mr Obama jetted down under. And the leaders now will discuss the broad friendship that exists between our two countries with a focus on elevating things like global climate ambition and accelerating the clean energy transition, including supporting global economic growth and job creation. Well, Kel, 2014 was quite some time ago when we had President uh, Obama jet in and, to, and speak to uh, Prime Minister, then Prime Minister Julia Gillard. The political climate and, of course, the global climate and even our regional climate has changed so much in that time. So I think that this this visit by President Biden will be actually it won't just be for for yes, show. There'll yes. be some there'll be some substance. It's a it. it's a big deal. It's mm. a, I think I was trying to work it out. I think this is the fourth American president to visit Australia. LBJ came. Um, George W. Bush came, yeah. Obama, and now Biden. And Bi uh, Bush Jr. also came a, f a few times, and so did Clinton. Yes, yeah. that's right, Clinton yeah. came. So, number five, oh, Biden's way down the list. <laughs> um, but and it's always a big deal when an American president comes. Mm. I mean, the things they have to do, they fly out these uh, armour-plated cars for him to travel in and all, all that kind of thing. But he's going to address the parliament. Mm. Um, I remember when George W. Bush addressed the parliament and Bob Brown and the Greens turned their back on him. Wow. It was very... So, it's it's diplomatically important, it's really significant. AUKUS matters an enormous amount. Mm. This is where the future lies because of China. Mm -hmm. uh, so this is a really big deal. Yeah. And it'd be really nice if Biden, I'm being unkind, remembered his lines. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's the thing, isn't it, Michelle? I yep. think this, is, this will be quite a momentous occasion. He will address both Houses of Parliament next Tuesday, yep. uh, which will be grand. But as we see on the front of the Australian tomorrow, Marine One is coming in, they're bringing in choppers, they're bringing in armoured yeah. cars and a thousand strong entourage. Which is always really interesting when he's here to talk about environment mm. and he tends to fly <laughs> everything out here. I'm pretty sure you're destroying the environment while you're trying to save it. Mm. Not quite sure about that. But, you know, China is the big one here. I mean, it makes sense. We need to strengthen our strategic ties with the, U the US. Well, the US knows they have to do it with us. Sp specific with the Pacific region, mm. China's growing influence in the Pacific region. There's a lot that they're going to have to talk about in terms of China's growing influence. So it's very important for him to come over, specifically at this time, because we are the last bastion for the US in this region. We are the ones that they they need us more than we need them in, in a lot of these instances. And I think that the US Prime Minister probably needs us right now so he can re maybe remove himself, from those, remove himself from those negotiations. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Uh, <laughs> about that debt ceiling, that's for sure. It's like weekend of Bernie. Yeah. Someone will kick him. <laughs> yeah. Talk, talk. Exactly. <laughs>